In the summer of 1967, we bought a 34-foot down-east fiberglass hull from Weber's Cove Boatyard in Blue Hill, Maine, and we shipped it for finishing to the Essex Boat Works in Essex, Connecticut. We named a reef sampler because we were fascinated with the Virgin Islands coral reefs and their ecology. She was equipped for sport fishing, but she also had a pot hauling winch, a lookout mast, and a harpoon pulpit. It took three years from a handshake in 1970 with Basil Simonette to actually owning Bitter End. During those protracted negotiations, Reef Sampler made countless trips between St. Thomas and North Sound. By the time everything was signed, sealed, and delivered, she was like a trusted trail horse, probably able to make the trip without a human hand on her wheel. When Bitter End finally was in our hands, Reef Sampler became our lifeline and the source of too many memorable adventures to count. One that I certainly remember was accompanying Eleonora in 1973 on a scientific expedition to the Caribbean coast of Central America. Over the years, Reef Sampler's appearance and duties evolved along with Bitter End. When Bitter End's renovation and expansion got serious in the mid-70s, Reef Sampler hauled every material and fixture from St. Thomas to North Sound. And she was our reliable link to Gun Creek, coming and going with team members and visitors. But at least a few days each week, she'd find her way to Anagata for a dive on the outside wall of Horseshoe Reef, some experimental fishing at the North Drop, or just a nice family picnic at yet to be discovered Necker Island. On September 6, 2017, with Irma bearing down, she was on emergency duty. Lying to our stoutest mooring, she was the only bitter end vessel not hauled out for the coming storm. But after Irma passed, she was nowhere to be seen. Parts of her superstructure were found on Prickly Pear, but the whereabouts of the rest of her was a mystery. We got the first clue in early 2018, when Her Majesty's Hydrographic Office was conducting its first BVI survey since 1926. One afternoon, the boat came alongside our dock, and the sonar operator asked us if we knew anything about a sunken vessel in our mooring field. The operator shared the GPS coordinates, and the case was handed over to Sun Chaser Scuba. The Sun Chaser team geared up for a dive at the lost moorings location, and the mystery was solved. Reef Sampler remained upright on the bottom of North Sound, still tethered to the mooring. There was no way that we would abandon Bitter End's most senior and revered fleet member. Salvage plans were drafted. Using airbags, Sun Chaser refloated and beached her at Bitter End's south end to prepare for her return as the star of Bitter End 2.0. After all, she would be the second most senior cast member after me. BEYC 2.0 will have her back on duty in a place of honor and continuing her iconic career on our village waterfront.